last time I cried was when I got married. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what's happened to me. I've, uh... <laughs> You've just won the Tour de France. It's the Colombian who gets there. Gaviria takes yellow. Van Avermaets is the new leader. It is Thomas on Alp d'Huez. The Welshman is wonderful. He misses the corner. Oh, Gilbert. Vive la tour. Hello and a very warm welcome to stage one of the Tour de France 2019. 50 years after Eddie Merck celebrated the first of his five tour wins, this 106th edition kicked off with a relatively flat outing around Brussels. A couple of iconic climbs on the menu, the murder Grammar and the Bosberg, but the first yellow jersey was expected to go to a sprinter. Four men getting away early on, Olympic champion Greg Van Avermaet was joined by Natalie Albahane, Zandro Maurice and Mads Wurtz. The quartet pulling around three minutes clear of the peloton before heading up the days at two climbs. With the sprinters team setting the pace, Van Avermaet was first at the top of the Murder Grandma, the Belgian securing himself the race's first polka dot jersey. His compatriot Maurice, an impressive 14th at the Dauphiné, then led the way over the Bosberg. Well, that was job done for Van Avermaet, who sat up and returned to the peloton, leaving Maurice, Bahane and Wurtz out at the front. Three teams keeping the three escapees on a tight leash. Jumbo Visma for Dylan Grunewagen, Lotto Sudal for Caleb Ewan, and to Koenig Quickstep for Elia Viviani. Bora Hansgrohe also riding hard for Peter Sagan and taking over in the short cobbled sector. Viviani briefly held up by a puncture, but no stress for the Italian, who recently won two stages of the Tour de Suisse. Game over meanwhile for the three men out at the front, and Sagan hoovering up maximum points at the intermediate sprint as he targets a record seventh green jersey. Stefan Rossetta then launching a solo attack, the Frenchman making his Tour debut with Cofidis after four visits to the Vuelta. Heading past the site of the Battle of Waterloo and a first moment of drama for one of the GC favourites. Astana's Jakob Fuglsang caught up in a crash inside the final 20k. The den a little bloodied and bruised, but soon catching up. Rossetta was reeled in after nearly 50k out on his own at the front, and the sprinters teams jostling for position ahead of the final shootout. Disaster though for Grunewagen, the stage favourite was caught up in a crash inside 2k. His hopes of Vienna dashed at the death. And on the interminable drag up to the finish line, there was to be a final twist. Sagan is waiting, Caleb Ewan in four, Sonny Colbrelli goes early, Peter Sagan tries to get into the slipstream, it's Viviani laying on Caleb Ewan, Ewan is boxed in, punching his way through, it's Peter Sagan that gets there. Or Mike Turnison, Turnison. it was very, very close between Sagan and Turnison. Well, incredibly, it was Turnison, Grunewagen's teammate, who pipped Sagan to the win, taking that coveted yellow jersey for Jumbo Visma. I think it will take me some days more to, uh, to imagine this because uh, yeah, it's, you can dream about it, dream about the scenario, not the Dylan crisis, but that you're uh, in the possibility to, to win a stage. But and now it's also working out. It's pretty nice, I would say. So an emotional roller coaster for Jumbo Visma in the final moments of this first stage. After losing their designated sprinter, Grunewagen, it was his lead out man Turnison who stepped up in style, taking a famous victory ahead of Sagan. The 26 year old's been on excellent form this year, winning the four days of Dunkirk and the ZLM Tour, but this victory is on another level altogether. He is the first Dutchman to wear the famous yellow in 30 years. Turnison leads by four seconds from Sagan, second on a tour stage for the 22nd time. Ewan third with pretty much everybody else 10 seconds back after a dramatic opening day.